avant-garde head pieces, hair accessories, sculptures and bodices, high fashion runway show? Well, close, except that these pieces were fashioned out of powder and polymer and made in printers. The fashion show was part of Nanyang Technological University's 3D printing festival and international 3D printing competition. The team that walked away with the grand prize were early adopters of the technology. The couple of married architects from Melbourne, Australia have been doing 3D printing at home for about a year. I think my wife has more fashion sense than me. <laughs> but like he's probably got a good, um, more better at like modeling the trick, the actual yeah, process. Technical. So I suppose when like, we combine our ideas, we can create something quite unique. NTU brief was very specific. It called for a piece that was inspired by water. Uh, had to have a sustainable story to it and also be culturally inspired. So in that sense, we kind of um, model our uh, piece in, uh, in the silhouette of the Chong Sam. Basically, the shapes that are fused together are sort of representations of uh, molecules of water. They intend to spend the $10,000 prize money to teach children how to create 3D printouts. And Doing Singapore Proud was a team of seven NTU students who walked away with a commendation prize for their fashionable chain mail. There's actually a shui, the Chinese character shui over here. Yeah, you can see a bit, yeah. So it is actually inspired by water and then it's how it transits from water droplets and slowly into splashes. So it's actually go from symmetrical to asymmetrical kind of splashes and the liquids. Um, patterns at the bottom part to show the elaborative splashes downwards. And also um, the colours of it is go from uh, ivory, from uh, different materials of like, 3D printing stuff to translucent 3D printing. The first of its kind in Singapore, the international 3D printing competition saw 30 entries from seven countries including Australia, Denmark, the United States, the United Kingdom and of course Singapore, which submitted 13 in the abacus creation category and seven for fashion. It is my, my sincere wish that uh, this technology will be uh, more widely used right now in the homes, not just for industrial use, but also for household uh, consumers and all kinds of things which the children can be, they can really let their imagination run wild, they can try all kinds of things and from there hopefully, hopefully they will go into engineering, that's my aim.